All right, it's time for a little insight, a little eruption. I'm gonna drop some thoughts, some philosophy. I'm also probably gonna take a lot of large shits on many small porches along the way. But is there a point to rappers supporting each other or expecting support from each other, at least? Let's talk about it. <laughs> Now, I want to say that supporting other artists is great, but I think there's a huge difference between supporting other artists and supporting other artists' music. When artists ask me to retweet their music, do you have any idea how rare it is that I retweet something that doesn't have to do with my brand? I literally don't remember the last time I did it. People who fuck with me and I fuck with them, we ask each other questions like, yo, I got a problem, what do you think I should do? We're on some mastermind shit, and maybe that's not like perfect yet, or maybe it's not like ideal. We're still are improving our relationships and business and such, but generally we try to limit it to that. Like artists and I who get along the best, interestingly enough, are the ones who somehow don't expect anything from each other. Wow! We all just give and give, there's no tape. I mean, if an artist pays me to mix down a song, like I said, it's business. Dude, that's $50. The fucking second that's in my PayPal, there's input. When there's input, I'm a robot. So, there has to be output, like, in a millisecond. There has to be some sort of, at least, reciprocity. That's kind of fucked up. I mean, it's a service I am doing. But there's a degree of expectation. A lot of artists out here seem to have, and I think they could benefit from, um, not doing that shit, or at least lowering it. Like, expecting your artist friends, particularly, to come to your shows. What if they have a show in a different city, and you're with your girl that night? Like, are you gonna make it to that? If you only have enough for one ticket and the gas, and your girl fucking has to go to Europe or something, to travel abroad for school, for some shit for three months and she's leaving the next day. I don't know why these things are such a big deal, let alone why they even happen. But I think what matters is that people even care. Like, are you just gonna expect the same group of people to fucking hold your hands in life every step of the way? This is no shot toward one individual, by the way. <laughs> like 99.9% .9 of the time, at least, when I say things like this, it is definitely about a full demographic that far exceeds that of just one human being. But artists especially worry about shit like, dude, people care more about celebrities than their bros. Oh, boo-hoo. If your friends don't give a shit about you, fucking get new friends. It's not that hard. Or fucking sit down with them and talk to them and actually communicate with them and let them know that it kind of bothers you. And if they can't get down with that and you can't accept it, you may have to just live with the fact that you can't always rely on the support of specific people for like super long periods of time. Because your personal growth, regardless, will very highly likely require you to part waves with them eventually. If they don't fuck with your growth, yours, as an artist, let alone a person, then your shit with them might not even be meant to happen anyways. Does that make sense? Like, what makes you think it needs to happen? I think that's a good question. Supporting our artists is not a two-way street. If it were, then celebrities wouldn't exist. If your music is fucking dope as fuck, and everyone's following you, and your time is only occupied to people who are your very, very, like, closest family members, and or team, or people who are paying you to, which is gonna be a lot of the time, probably, your time is occupied to the point where, generally, you don't have any for people who are not willing to pay you for it. And shit, these artists expecting some sort of reciprocity are really ass backwards in a way. Are they not? Like, expecting something in return for your support is is really sort of a death wish, is it not? You really hurt yourself and you bring it on yourself. The artists at the top got there because they got unique music and branding and most importantly, they made the right moves. They were consistent in their work and they hopefully still are. They got their teams, simple as that. They don't get there by supporting other artists, by tit for tat, follow for follow, shout for shout, like for like. What is this, fucking pre-K? Like, dude, if you like something, what happened to just liking it? Don't fucking expect it to like you back. <laughs> Meritocracy is a huge thing. I think it's actually a major component of human nature and what it entails. Like, a lot of this is no more than just being an exceptional artist and person. Just having very professional, easygoing conduct. Just e being easy to talk to. The more you give to the marketplace, that's value. The more you expect, even if you give a lot, your returns will tend to sort of diminish to the bitch number, and that is a very major problem. If you want to continue to feed off of the negativity that you attract by focusing on what you don't have, rather than appreciating what's there, whether you have it or not, no judgment. Like, fine, do you. But stay away from me, please. Because the last thing I want is artists telling me that my music is dope, specifically just to make me feel like listening to theirs. If you want someone to listen to your music that badly, you may as well just fucking pay them. <laughs> like, what the fuck? I used to spend all my time giving feedback to artists before I made music. I would read and watch music reviews all the fucking time. And artists used to always ask me for feedback. They definitely still do. But back then, they knew that they would get a lot out of it. They're like, no one tells me what you do. Like, you got that ear. The thing is, I just don't have fucking time to do that anymore. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> At the moment, as of the recording of this video, I am moving to Atlanta very soon. In fact, the guy who's picking me up is on his way right now. <laughs> 
My time log is gonna be violently swamped with fucking recording sessions and mixing, sessions and writing, and brainstorming sessions, and showcases, and a lot of other things. And even all the bullshit I do every day. Like new episodes of my learning podcast on Sunday mornings, and new insight videos, and new beats and everything. However, if, by chance, I can start working this into my habits, I have fucking amazing news, if that's the case, all sort of like a live music critiquing session or something along those lines, where artists will submit their music to me via email and I'll listen to the entire track live and I'll review it on the spot. I will say everything I can as fast as I can and give you all the details I can. Because when I listen to literally anything, so many things go on in my mind, like my conscious mind, that I have to write all of them down and I would literally have to get all of that shit out. I would have to spend at least like between 20 minutes and an hour on one song, one song, no matter how shitty it, even if it's a terrible song. But if they want to skip to the top of the line, they would have to pay me like five or 10 or $15 or something like that or more. And I don't think that's because I'm so good at reviewing music or anything like that. I mean, dude, I kind of think that, but that's not the reason at all. It's really just because I care that much about my time. And if I put all my fucking time into interacting with these artists, my schedule would be Full of shit. It would be full of relying on other people to get shit done and having to follow up with them and shit. And I mean, that does sound kind of ideal as far as ROI. Like, I feel like that only makes sense that it would give you results. However, the way in which I would be doing it, or at least did for I think like two years, it went on until I realized I wasn't thinking big enough. Actually, you know what? Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I wasn't doing it the right way or something. Like I said, but it would not be full of clarity and organized plans carried out toward a definite purpose because those are what I want in my life. Not a bunch of fucking 20, 30, 40. 40 year old grown men in need of pacifiers because they're butt hurt that someone isn't trying to reciprocate support when that person is as busy as they are. And any of them could be like, bro, you have time to write about it, but not listen to my music. They don't understand that the point of how much of that shit has to happen until I'm like, okay, this needs to be addressed once and for all. Once I speak on a topic, the only reason I would speak on it again is probably just for video ranking purposes. <laughs> but I just had to get all that off my chest. I know there are probably so many holes you could poke in these arguments, like I say in all my other rants. Like, bro, you don't care enough about the people. You don't care about the ecosystem. Look, if I didn't care about the ecosystem, I wouldn't even make these videos. If you watch this video and think, Oh, this kid's just a sour little dickhead. Isn't he? I lovingly ask of you <laughs> to forget about this for one second. <laughs> Check out a few other ones and give those a chance. Because when it comes to the energy behind intention, I get very granular on things like this. Because 90% of my videos don't talk with this same type of attitude, for lack of a better word. Should rappers be expecting support from each other? Are rappers worrying too much about other artists? If so, are they worrying enough about their own fan bases? What do you guys think? And if you have any talk Topics that you want me to cover in future videos, please let me know in the comments below and I will give you a shout out if and when I use them. If you have any questions, please feel free to hit me up. There are links at the bottom of the description on all my social media. Also at the bottom of the description, there are links to my new production kits where you can find all the hardware and software that I use to make music and these videos. If you buy any, I get commission, which helps me build this channel and keep making the videos for you guys. I made all the beats in this video. If you want any, you can find them in the description, each one from first to last, or you can get them at samuel.earth slash beats. Make sure to leave a like if you like it, subscribe if you haven't already. If you can turn on that little bell to receive a notification every time I drop a new video, that would mean the world to me. Thank you guys so much for watching. You can find me everywhere and I will see you.